All right, so let's look at another example. And this one is, is cool, right? So this is this idea of like, I've got two references that refer to two different objects and I wanna swap them. I want, when I'm done, me to refer to the person with age 18 and you to refer to the person with age 40. Now, first of all, let's just kind of review how we got to this place. Well, I don't know, you were born and I was born and that's how we got here on some level, but in our code. So if I look at this you know, little example, I've got this little silly person class that allows me to initialize the age and it's public for the sake of example, so I don't have to write a, a, a getter. Um, now you'll see that I've created two person objects here. How do I know that? I see new twice. I see it on the right side of the assignment on line seven. I see it on the right side of the seven uh, assignment on line eight. Now I know at this point that me and you store references to those two new person objects. That produces the diagram that we see in front of us. Now, if I want to swap these references, the thing that's important here, um, so again, think about a real world uh, analog. Let's say that you and I have two addresses and we want to exchange them. Now, normally we would just hand them to each other, right? So maybe that's not the perfect, but imagine that what we need to do is we actually need to write, I, I have two pieces of paper, two different addresses on them, and I need to write address, this is address A, this is address B, and I need to use the same two pieces of paper. I can't exchange them, but you and I have to come away with the two different addresses on them, right? So if this is A, it's gonna end up with B. So imagine you start out, you have address A on your piece of paper, and you erase it to get ready to write down address B. But then the problem is, where's address A? It's gone, you've erased it. You don't remember it anymore. Um, and so that's sort of what's going on here in the sense that if we drop a reference to an object and we don't have another way to refer to it, that object is gone. It's like a house somewhere in the forest that no one has an address to, nobody can get there, no one even knows it exists, and it turns out Java's gonna take advantage of that to do something to that object, to help us, you know, help our programs be more robust. We'll talk about that in a couple of lessons. But for now, the trick is, in order to complete this, I need to maintain a reference to both objects at all times. So the problem I get into is if I try to, let's say I set me to you. Well, now, you know, I have two references to you, but none to me. Let's say I set you to me. Now I have two references to me, but none to you. The trick here is to use a third variable uh, that I'm gonna call temp. And I use that to hold a copy of one of the references while I switch the other one. So we'll see how this works. And this dance is something that, you know, this is one of these little micro programming patterns that you're just gonna have to learn because this is how you do this particular thing. Um, okay, so I set up this temporary variable and I make a copy of the reference in me. So at this point, you'll see that I have two references to the person with age 40. One is called me and the other is called temp. Now what I can do is I can change the value of the reference variable me to refer to the person with age 18. And I do that by copying the reference from you, okay? Now again, if I didn't have the temporary variable, what would happen here is I would have no way to set you to the person with age 40 because I would have no reference to it. But because I have the temporary variable, I do have a way of doing this. So I still have a reference to the person with age 40 stored in the variable temp. And after I've switched, I've switched me, I now switch you. So I copy the variable, the contents, the reference from temp into you. And then I can drop the temporary variable. That's not needed anymore. And you'll see that I've accomplished my goal, which is I have, you know, gone back in time 22 years, which is kind of fun. Um, so yeah, so let's go through this again. This is one of those things that we're seeing a couple times. All right, so I have two references here, two objects. I have a reference saying me that refers at the beginning to a uh, person object with age 40. And then I have a reference saying you, which refers at the beginning of this code to a person um, with age 18. And my goal is when I'm done to swap these. And the trick is I always have to keep references to both. So you can try this. I mean, try doing it without a temporary variable and see if you can get it to work. If you can, please get in touch because that would be groundbreaking. Um, what we normally need to do here is we need to use a temporary variable. And you can set the temporary variable to either you or me. Um, you just need some scratch space. So again, go back to our example with two addresses. Uh, before erasing mine, if I get a piece of scrap paper and write it down, 
then I copy yours onto mine, and then you have a place to get the address that I originally had, right? Um, so this is sort of like our scratch paper. Um, so in this case, I use the scratch paper to keep a copy of a reference to the person with age 40 that was originally stored in me. And the reason I do that is because the next thing I'm going to do is change me. So now I'm uh, changing me to refer to the person with age 18. The way I do that, you stores a reference to that person, so I copy the reference from you into me. Now what I need to do, so now I'm, me is good, right? Me refers to the person with age 18, but you still refers to the person with age 18 as well. And so I need to change that. The way I do that is I exploit the fact that temp stores a reference to the person with age 40. And so to change you, I assign you from temp. So I take the reference stored in temp and I copy it over to you. And now you'll see that me and you are set up properly. Me refers to the person with age 18, you refers to the person with age 40. That was my goal. And so at this point, I can drop the temporary variable. There's no way to delete it, but it will just not be used anymore. And I've accomplished my goal. This is tricky. Go through this a few times, look at the code, use our example, uh, go through this diagram, make sure that you really understand this. Because if you do, then you're on your way to really understanding how references work.